All right, folks, I'm on my way to Mason Effects headquarters to build my first pedal. I've never used a soldering iron, and Curtis has obliged to be my sensei. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll be there in about, um, you know, hour and a half. They're about an hour and a half from me. And uh, yeah, super pumped. Here we go. Hey everybody, we are at Mason FX Temple. This is Curtis Mason. Hello. He has like very nicely offered to help teach me how to solder. I've never done that before, so thank you. You're welcome. And I've been wanting to do it for decades. Um, so tell me what we got going in here. I know we were gonna build a very simple fuzz circuit, but tell me what we're gonna start doing. Yeah, that is correct. We are gonna build a silicon fuzz face, which is kind of the base circuit that I think everyone should start with. It's really simple. Okay. There's a couple little tweaks that we're gonna make here and there, but overall this is like the starting point for people. Okay, cool. And he has his awesome schematic and directions and parts. You have parts listed parts here. List, yeah, shout out Pedal PCB. If you're just getting started with like DIY pedals, they have hundreds of PCBs and instructions and uh, everything you could ever want for, for DIY pedal building. So Is that how you started with this? Or did you just like... I actually started with uh, Tone Geek, Ryan Colgan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we talked the, about the that one in the show. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the first one. But then after that, then I got like 20 pedal PCB PCBs and started building those. So. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, let's All do right. it. I'm gonna, we're going to put this camera here so you can see my sloppy mess ups and everything. Let's dig in. And then this one will show across the room and he's the master and builds beautiful, beautiful guts. So we'll, oh. we'll look at his afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You should mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, soon, hopefully when this goes live, this will be up for auction for the pink pedal no, the Pink Guitar Project, Yeah. yeah. with benefits going to uh, breast cancer research. So look out on the Pink Guitar Project on Instagram for more information on how you can get this in an auction. Cool. Yeah, and show the back of that again, so just so people can see how beautiful the enclosure's the a work. little rough, but that is... A, yeah, but yeah. your wiring and the way that you have stuff in here is like art. I mean, it's like really, I mean, it's something to behold. Appreciate it. It's like, yeah, I feel like stuff that you do, and then like Aaron, obviously, like you guys are very serious about, you know, doing yeah. it right. And I think that's something that we all kind of could take a take a note from in terms of our instruments. Do it right. <laughs> all right. Cool, Thank man. you, sir. All right, let's dig in. All right. Man, it's so crazy. All right. Yeah. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's dig into this box first here. So that's okay. the. There's two things in here. You've got your main. Uh, PCB, which is, you know, this is a big blow up of that, mm -hmm. and then this goes on the foot switch, and then we'll wire this in to the the main PCB. So you don't have to okay. worry about the foot switch wiring itself. It just plops in, solder, 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 and you're good to go. Okay. And what does PCB stand for? Um, printed circuit board. Okay, duh. Yeah. <laughs> for a second there, right. I, uh, I forgot to. Yeah. Okay, and then here's... These are our potentiometers. Okay. So you've got one for... Oh, I should mention, this is like a design based on... Um, I think it's the Analog Man fuzz. Silicon fuzz. So you've got a volume of fuzz and then the sundial, which is like the external bias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also an internal bias and an internal clean, so you can blend in some clean signal too. Oh, cool. Which does help if you've got some noisy transistors and they start to like oscillate at the, you know, like when you max them out and you get that like squeal sound. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can kind of add a little clean in and that should go away. So, okay. So that's that. These are all the potentiometers for it. And then this is like the hardware. So you've got your foot switch, uh, input and output jacks, LED bezel, nine volt connector. So this is gonna be nine volt plug-in, not battery. Okay, okay. These are the magic transistors. So these are NOS um, Texas Instrument BC183L. You know what that means for sure. They're a low gain. <laughs> this is what uh, Aaron uses in, in his um, oh, okay. little fuzz. The silicon side is, is basically these. They're, I think okay. his are different make or a different kind of type, but it's basically the same BC1 and 3L. Okay, cool. And these are nice low gain, so nice. those should sound really good. And then the closure. Yeah. And then I've got 
all the other stuff. I didn't want to separate it out just because it can be a pain, but like, all the resistors and, and trim pots and capacitors and stuff we'll need, I've got them all in my box here. So we'll okay, cool. go through that as, as we get there. All right. But yeah, so. All right, but how, but how to solder is the thing. So like I, I've literally never done it. So okay. I understand the concept of it and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing that always worried me about learning how to do it or just trying to do it is uh -huh. have it be super messy and like, right. you know, incorrect, done incorrectly. Sure. Um, but I understand heating up the metal. Yeah make the connection and all that. Honestly, that's all it is, and it just takes a little bit of practice, which is why we've got these blank uh, little PCBs. These are for doing random circuits. So you, can, you can find stuff online and build your own circuits. You don't need to have like a printed board like this. Right. Um, but I've got a lot of these blank ones, so we're just going to throw in some resistors and just get a feel for how solder flows and that kind of stuff. Okay. So I've only got one of these guys, so you're going to have this. I'm going to move this over here for now. Okay. Uh, and then this will just hold you know, a piece of you like that, so I'm going to solder. Okay. <laughs> and then you've got your own little clippers here. Okay. And then we'll just clip off oh, the resistor. I mean, they can also pull off but sometimes mm -hmm. it'll bend the, the leads, and for what I do, that kind of messes yeah, with it. Totally. All right, so there's two sides to this. There's one side, you can see all the circles on the top, right? Mm-hmm. And then on the bottom side, there's three connected together. Mm-hmm. So you want to do this through, this was the top, this is the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how many. So what you would do, you bend your leads like this, and then you would put it through wherever, whichever holes it's supposed to go into. Mm -hmm. And then it'll sit flush there. Now is that flush, is that like part connected to that, like in terms of like it touching, is that what makes the connection or like kind of? So the when it touches these gold plated circles, either on well, on the front end or the back, mm -hmm. that's what makes the connection. Okay. So by I should probably have something like that. Hold, watch this one, on the connection here for like two seconds. Okay. And then you can put the solder right on it and it should flow pretty quickly. So put it on, actually on the connection? Yep, on okay. the connection. So you want to touch both pieces, the PCB, or the board and the lead. All right. And then go ahead and put some solder on it. And you should see it. Okay. So one thing that, all right, let it go. For yeah. a second, so you don't want to hold on too long. Like if you feel like it's not going to be a great connection, or just get out of it. Yeah, just you don't want to overheat it and then okay. cool down. That's fine. Um, one thing that'll that could help is instead of being you know, like coming from above, but try to like rest your wrist down so you uh, have a little yeah. more control. So and then the tip of this always goes first. I always thought it was the other way. No, you you want to heat up the joint first, and then. So here, watch. Here, watch me here. So I hold it for about two seconds, and then push this on, and then you'll see it. Oh, Did you see it kind of suction yeah, down yeah, there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that's like a that's crazy. <laughs> uh, this is why I could never be a surgeon because I can't. <laughs> I don't, uh, 
That's all right. Oh, also, sorry, one Clean other thing. this off. Yeah. One other thing um, that helps with the solder is if, if it's like this, if you're holding it like that, mm -hmm. the solder doesn't really have anything to, to push against, so I always put my finger okay. on it, and that makes it a little bit more rigid, rigid so that it's easier to, to get onto the soldering iron. This is not as easy as it looks when you watch you guys do this stuff. I'm trying to get the. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's turn this temperature up. So I think we might need a little more heat on this. That's my number. <laughs> Give it a second to heat. Okay. Up. Um, all right, yeah, you're good. Do you need some more light? I need different hands. So that I mean. <laughs> oh, I think I got. There you go. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and try that on the on the other lead there. Yeah, a little bit more. You should it should fill the circle, mm -hmm. and then you should also see it come through on the top there. Like this is a good joint. You see that? How it? I don't know if you can see through there. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Kinda, Almost as like a cone. Yeah. yeah exactly. So it kind of cones through on the other end. It's nice and shiny, and that's that's a good joint. So the other one, which that one needs a little bit more, a little bit more solder. Perfect. Bypass, so that is a good sign. That's good. Is that a black one? It's a parts caster black one. Nice.
sounds like a fuzz. It sounds like a fuzz. trying to remember which one is the fuzz and which one's the volume. <laughs> this one's volume. This one's fuzz. So I'm trying to see. And that's the bias. In the this middle. is the bias. So. Um, that's the fuzz. So with, with the fuzz knob, a lot of the times at the very high end, it brings in a lot of treble. Uh-huh. So I was, I'm trying to hear to where that kind of shelf is to where it brings it, or it cuts off that extra high end like, yeah. hear that? yeah right there yeah So Good. this this is a uh, you said it's it's based on that. This is a silicon fuzz face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Based on the, the analog man with that sundial right. external bias. All right, so we've got one working pedal. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I have one of Buddy's picks in my pocket. I do. Nice. All right, moment of truth. Okay. Do you get a bypass signal? There you press it. <laughs> no! Damn it! <laughs> what could that be? Uh, anything. <laughs> oh, Christ. But we have ways of going through it. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. I thought you were fucking with me for a second. And I was like, nope, he's not. All right. So we did it. We learned how to solder. Albeit my pedal didn't work because something happened. <laughs> I have new skills of the beginning of learning how to solder well. So a uh, big, big thank you to Curtis, Mason Effects. Please check out Mason Effects. His fuzzes are phenomenal. Um, all my pals and all the people who know anything about anything are playing them. So definitely check them out. I am uh, really, really grateful to Curtis for taking the time to like spend a few hours with me doing this thing. I had a blast. It was super fun to, to hang out with a, uh, a newer friend. So onwards and upwards, folks. Here we go.